everyone, I'm Ian Smith, I'm with Drone Deploy. We are a cloud-based drone software company. We power hundreds of businesses around the world to make value with their drones and to actually transform them into mapping tools. So we can take uh, small drones like this and augment them with our software to actually make them very, very powerful machines. So using the cloud and some of our cloud-based apps like our Android and iOS app, along with the desktop, laptop apps that we have as well, which are accessible via the browser, we can really kind of make these things into tools that are providing actual tangible ROI, whereas before they might have just been flying over, buzzing, and taking images and video. So using photogrammetry, using cloud computing, we drastically reduce processing times, we make the entire process simple from A to Z, and we make sharing and having an actual conversation on the map and on the data itself very, very easy. So you can go ahead and distribute this within or outside of your organization just by sharing a link. You no longer have to worry about having the correct software, having to send it to someone who has maybe just a Windows computer instead of a Mac. It's accessible across any device and in any web browser. We have over 10,000 users totally worldwide, uh, 120 plus countries are are being are have drone deploy maps in them being made and it's growing exponentially so recently with the park 107 announcement by the FAA it's been just a huge boon to the industry as a whole a lot of people have been waiting for this announcement and we're super excited to get this technology into anybody's hands you can start mapping and sign up for free at drone deploy.com uh, you just need a drone or an existing existing data set and you don't even need a DJI drone but it works really well with those. Right, so this is actually a thermal map from a DJI Inspire 1 with the FLIR and DJI Partnership XT sensor. The overlap on this data set is quite good. You can see here the footprint of each of the images. Now, photogrammetry as a process actually stitches those images together to form this ortho mosaic. And so this is a high quality ortho mosaic from thermal imagery. So these are some buildings in Treasure Island uh, close to San Francisco. Francisco, and you can see that there's hot spots actually on these parts of these buildings. Now these are not inhabited buildings, these are kind of uh, just demo buildings that we're looking to show the capabilities of, but instead of just getting a 2D model, you also get elevation models from this. So we have features that you can actually you know, fully adjust and highlight different parts of the actual model itself to make different things pop out. So you can do kind of pseudo flood analysis operations with this data uh, by looking here at anything in the dark blue area is below a specific altitude there and then that could be in, a, in effect if a flood were to occur on poor Treasure Island here. So we also have the 3D model that we generate from all the data sets on drone deploy. And whenever it loads up, you'll see that it's a it's also the thermal data. So we're zooming in here on the thermal data, and we can see now in three dimensions uh, of the specific areas that might be hot or cold on the actual data set itself. So in the future, we'll be expanding thermal capabilities by being able to click on a point and get an actual temperature value of a specific pixel. We can also do volume calculations with drone deploy and lots of different annotations so volumetric calculations could be something like just getting the actual volume of this building itself so it's a little bit of a complicated shape here but I'll go ahead and give a shot to try to only capture the building and you'll see how quickly and easily we can get a volumetric calculation from drone deploy software you don't have to use you don't have to use this just on buildings you can actually use this on stockpiles as well and it applies to different industries. I just finished the annotation. You can see how quickly we have a value of 73,443.6 cubic yards of volume and we get the cut, the fill, and also the area which is 1.9 acres. Now we can change the base plane of the volume as well. We also can do basic area calculations, distance, and location. So if we go ahead and drop a location marker on one of these hot spots on the east wing of this building, we can go ahead and put a comment in here and tell one of our colleagues maybe to check this out. 
And once we do that, we hit enter and then we save that annotation and now we've added our username and our comment to this map in that specific time on that date. So then one of our other colleagues who may be out in the field and needs to check that out physically can pull up their mobile device, whether it's Android or iOS, and then actually find that comment and find that annotation, see their GPS location embedded on this map and walk over to it and then actually investigate it themselves and verify whether or not that this actually needed to be checked out or maybe it was a waste of their time. They can also take a picture and they'll be able to upload that picture as a geotagged annotation. Maybe there's like a safety concern or a safety uh, issue that needs to be documented. And of course change the color to anything that might signify a specific status in the company internally. So you can also share this data not just internally but externally as well just by inputting someone's email. This is all in a web browser and as stated earlier you can also access it from any mobile device. So sharing and getting people to see this data is as easy as just sending a link and sending an email. And it can be private or it can be public. It's your choice. Exporting the data is very easy too. You just actually select the format that you want exported and then select the email as well. You can change the resolution to whatever you choose. So a high resolution is good for lots of detail. Low resolution is good for sending a lot easier for smaller file size. And even selecting a custom projection system if you have a local state plane that you need to go ahead and, and export in. So you can go ahead and export the tiles and, and or a single image in GeoTIFF format or JPEG. And we've got some really cool stuff for ag as well where you can export prescription maps in shapefile format.